sorry I didn't say it to me I'm so fucked up in my head now Maybe I'm the problem Maybe that's the reason Maybe if I change the way I am Dudes, uh, yeah, I hit stop record. I was all into the thing. And uh, now I have to edit this damn video. You know how I feel about this. You might. So, uh, yeah, this song, totally dope, dude. This is uh, from uh, art an artist named Matt Walden. Um, go check out his, his YouTubes. Check out his... Uh, his Twitch stream. It's got a pretty killer Twitch stream. Super talented cat, uh, it would appear. I dig this song, so let's talk about what the uh, what's in it. How did we make it, man? How? Our microphone is noisy today. All the air conditioners are on. As well, they should be. It's like hot. It's hot outside. I mean, let's be honest. So uh, this project is looped up in Ableton. If you've seen any of, any of my other stuff, you know that's how it goes. This one's like all the other projects. Um, so basically, uh, you got verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and same thing and done. So easy enough there. I don't have much stuff in this project. Just didn't need it. So it's based on, it all runs off of the piano. Let's peep the piano. So the piano is just the standard Ableton piano. Uh, Homie is a really good piano player. So I wasn't about to try and like play his piano. But uh, yeah, I did 
my version, <clears throat> excuse me, my version is in uh, E, I think. The track version is like a step higher. And I learned it from a stream VOD on YouTube. How many fucking ways around the world can we go here, right? Um, so the artist repitched it for his performance, which is what I learned from. So guess that worked out good for me. So if you're wondering, this is in E. Uh, so that's the piano part. What did we do there? Uh, we've got, we can turn this stuff off. That's the actual piano. And it sounds like clunky and crazy because I'm not playing it like that. I'm playing it, recording it with all the stuff, you know, so you're kind of banging on it. But let's add some things. We just filter out a little bit, not much. And that filter is kind of wavy. Magic comes from Marta Melodies. This one's cool. Which we do reverser. We do some high pass and low pass filtering. Uh, and we add some saturation. It's really about it. A little bit of this spatial thing. I don't know what the hell that does, but uh, it, it puts it in a box and then grows the box, apparently, according to the icon there, which is this one. I realize my finger doesn't show up on stream. Uh, this isn't stream. Anyways, this is YouTube. Uh, anyways, that's the piano. Add to that. Uh, what do we add? We got some loops. So we got loops doubled in stereo. So it's actually two loops, right? Uh, let's collapse this. Let's see if we can do some things. So this one over here is doing that. That one over there is doing that. You might think, hey, how does that work together? I don't Well, it works pretty damn good together is how it works. So you got that. Uh, and then we've got this easy drummer thing is not actually not playing. So it's off. We can ignore that. We got some bass up in there. And then there's also the, uh, there's a synth guitar. Oversaturated synth guitar. This is the Neural DSP Archetype Rabia. I love, this is the first Neural plugin. If you didn't catch my, no, I didn't put one up yet. Ha ha. Guys, I bought a Neural DSP plugin. What the hell? Uh, but this one is a high gain tone plus, it's got a synth built in. I mean, come on. Listen to that thing. I have another track um, that's about, um, like a track I'm about to release. That's the one I've been doing a demo. That's right. I did a demo video for this plugin. But this, you see this thing here on the left where all this, the lyrics are? <clears throat> that's my note file. And that particular day, that note file was open with all of my hours and notes for a particular client who's very, very large and famous. So I had to scrap the whole video. I guess I could blur it out and post, but then it's a lot of back and forth. I'm not doing that. So I gotta redo that. It's coming, it's coming. Uh, that file, oh my God, it has the nastiest synth distortion thing in that thing, oh my God. But anyways, uh, this is Rabia, that's all we're doing. So you got all those things, and then they sound like this together. Uh, like I said, go check out Dude's stuff. It's really good. You'll hear this song, um, you know, and other stuff, and you'll, I mean, it's not quite like this, because I've trashed it, and all. I've made it, I've made it trash, is what I've done, kind of. Sorry, artist, if you're watching. Matt Walden is his name. Sorry, Matt, if you're watching. I made your song trash. That's my bad. Um, but so when we go into the verse, we're going to drop that synth guitar thing out. Right? <clears throat> and this whole thing is so simple. I didn't show you like anything like chains. The, uh, that's a good one. That mix rack has nothing in it. This mix rack has some things. Uh, so we've got virtual channel. We're running through a Neve console for this project. That's a Neve EQ. We've got an opto compress, little revival for probably the bottom there's not much shimmer i don't think because i'm <laughs> if there is i'm pulling it out in the very next spot in the air 
I'm yanking it out. Um, my voice is trashed, y'all. I streamed too much this week, and then I've been singing this song like 20 times, trying to do it right. Uh, so, where were we? Uh, what was I saying? The bass thing. So, yeah, that's your mix rack. You can see all my settings for the bass. The magic on the bass comes from this plugin. <laughs> M-O-T-T -T from Slate. Uh, why is this still here? Go away. And uh, this, so is this. Go away. It's because I did pinch to close. You hear all the, hear all the noisy things in the room. <sighs> Good thing for gates, right? Uh, so... The bass sounds great like this, but without the M-O-T-T -T off. Where'd the bass go? I could turn it up, but that wouldn't be the same as putting it right where it should be. So if you have the Slate package and you don't use M-O-T-T -T on your bass, you're doing life wrong. So that's our bass. There's nothing at all on the loops. This should have uh, at least my channel. So we'll add that. Which gives it an LA-2A, but we're gonna turn that off. But it, mostly it'll put it in the console. You really wanna have all your stuff running through your console. Or, you know, it's, or you're gonna have a bad time. It's not gonna be any fun, man. You're gonna fuck it all up, man. Uh, so then we've got some Spitfire strings up in here. Okay, where's that? It's in the chorus. Oh, so pretty. Oh, let's do that in just those vocals, huh? I've got the main vocal silence. Maybe, maybe I'm the problem. If only that's the reason. Dry as hell, too, right? Like, what's still soloed? Me. Let's do different soloing. So then let's. The vocals are off. Maybe we. The problem, if only that's the reason. Maybe if I change the way I am, and then would you still love pretty streams? Maybe we'd be happy if only I could go back to that day. Yeah, you get it. Where I go? There I am. So you put it all together, and I guess I should turn the main vocal, but it is. So we've got some harmony vocals on I'm sorry, I didn't say this transition. We've got harmony vocals in the chorus. Our vocal chains are the same as they always are which there's usually a mic swap, but this in front of me is a slight VMS mic. So we've always got a gate, we've got a trim. There's weird thing mixed, weird things going on. Well, I mean, it's not weird. Uh, the preamp for the slight digital for the VMS, it's gotta be cranked. And then I've got a trimmer cranked so I can really get into these mic models. Uh, so like this channel, we're using a 269, lots of the 269s in these. Um, Little little preamp, no saturation from it. Then we hit the console, and I'm driving the consoles pretty damn hard. Usually, usually I drive them a little harder like that. Um, I like to crank them. DS or next. Then we got a 550 EQ, which is it's got a different. It's got a particular, uh, you know, like a curve kind of. It's got a particular curve on the. Uh, like on like this the tonality of it different from like a neve like a neve really like in the neve eq you're going to hear that mid-range like just banging at you whereas the 550 it's going to be more scooped and it's going to be a little more airy and modern like sounding and uh anyways then we got the le to it and we're almost done Listen. that's all lights 
you want to know about the lights, just check out my lights video. There's an LED lights video. Somewhat recently on my channel, so you'll be able to find it if you want. But the lights are programmed in Ableton. There's four of them. Just do stuff like that. That right there. I mean, you can control the level of the light, the R, the G, the B, and then some other stuff too. That's the level of that light. And we got light number one doing the opposite thing. Light 15 is my front face light, which kind of has to stay bouncing off that wall up there. Or my face disappears. But like I said, there's a whole video about all those lights. Uh, hook it up. So uh, the rest of the story is I use these controllers below me and uh, the feet, of course, to, uh, you know, keep it all real. You know, like boom, 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 boom. You can hit, uh, you know, you got all kinds of controls. I got pacer videos for you. If you want one of these, you got one of these, the pacer. Get you one, man. They're awesome. Let's go to something a little more mellow. So then, uh, my live track, of course, what you hear here is another uh, VMS vocal channel, just like the other one. The guitar here, we're using uh, the Rubia thing again. We're using a mid gain amp on this one <clears throat> with the gain too high for what I intend to be doing right now. I'll just fix that now. And uh, really that's about all, that mid gain amp little delay, little reverb. Done! Master Channel has your typical SSL bus compressor. You might wonder, what does this thing do? Let me show you. It makes shit sound better. You can get something, you can get an SSL uh, bus compressor model from Waves from anywhere, if you don't have one. They're like $30, I think, from Waves. Best $30 you ever spent. Let's turn it off. Ready? Turn it off. Now, if you're not on good stuff, you're not going to hear the difference. But if you're on good stuff, you're going to go, oh. Ready? Do it with me. Let's turn it on. Here we go. Ah. It's just that little bit of perfectness. Now, if you want more dramatic still, we can mess with the overstayer. This is also on our master, right? This is a saturation plugin, and it's amazing. It's not $30, it's quite costly. Uh, but with this thing, let's turn it off. And turn it on. Yeah, your mix just comes to life. Watch that little yellow button. So it's all the little things. So this mix, if without that, without that, and then if I were to go in here and turn the console off as well, we sound like this. Now if we turn it all back on, ready? Yet? I'll let you get used to this. Sit in this for a second. No console, no master bus compressor, no overstayer. So just by adding these things, look how much better we sound. On, on. Done, right? Skip your video back, check that. You'll hear it's a huge difference, right? It's the, all, the, that's what makes pros people, pros people, that's what makes pros, pro mixes and the pros, their work, that's what makes it sound good, dude. It's all the little things that they do. They add up to a big, magnificent thing. Um, that's this project. I can't think of anything else probably to tell you about it. I'm like, what do you want to know? If you want to know something, put it in the comments. Right? Right? Let's go back to here. And I will bid you adieu. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hit the buttons and stuff if you want to. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. That's pretty shitty, actually. It's like, bro, you didn't say any of this stuff, you know, tell any of this stuff to follow. But <clears throat> do we care? 
I mean, we know it all. It's right in the description there. Everybody's great. Follow everybody. Ciao.